Sarah. All right. Well, I'm going to give it to Ashley at this point to um, talk a little bit about some issues that we've been seeing in digital cookies. Hi, everyone. So we're going to walk through a little bit of issues that's been happening in digital cookie. Um, we have seen a few things and we'd like to kind of just show you how to navigate in uh, digital cookie as well as ABC as a trip coordinator. That way, some of these issues don't seem so frustrating um, once you kind of learn how to handle them. So for the digital cookie site, uh, publishing your trip site issues you will find um, if the trip site is not published. So here's a few issues that you'll find if your trip site hasn't been published. You'll be unable to balance out a booth with credit card payments. And we're going to kind of walk you through and show you why you're not able to balance out. Um, also, no credit card transactions are flowing to ABC as a troop payment. You only see it as girl payments. This is because the girl has taken the payment incorrectly. She took it under her own personal um, account instead of taking it under the troop site. And the reason why she might have done that, because maybe you haven't published your troop booth site yet. Um, so we will we'll show you kind of how to do that as well. And then no option for Girl Scouts to access the troop. And then the booth in digital cookie. So if they're not able to access the, the um, troop site and they're not able to access the booth in digital cookie, it's because something is not set up right. Um, so it's not the system, it's definitely just not set up accurately and that's why we're having a few issues. So we're gonna teach you tonight on how to do that so that that way maybe a lot of these issues will um, be resolved for you. Also, um, Girl inventory, that's ABC Smart Cookies, should be an accurate inventory for every girl. Individual flavors are not shown on the GBS. That's but told the girl balance summary. <laughs> <laughs> the girl balance summary, but total packages should be correct. And this is the most important number. Um, you'll want to use digital cookie web website versus the app on a lot of things. We'll um, walk you through that as well. And then use the My Cookies tab to see inventory and finances. Um, so I'm going to actually just log in really quick and share screen and we'll walk you through some of this. I think this is what everybody's kind of been experiencing and wants to learn. So um, give me a second so I can just share screen. And does anybody have a troop maybe that has had this issue? I would like to kind of see a troop and walk you through it. And that way, maybe you guys can understand. So if someone has an example of something that's happened to their troop, um, please unmute and let me know your troop number. Any takers? Yeah. <laughs> my, my Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I heard someone. I believe it was Pamela. Yeah, it's uh my troop is fifty one ninety two, and I I did had an issue with the booth payment. Okay. Um, uh, because they took they they did use their digital cookie app, but they did select booth the booth for booth payment, and I don't know why it's still. Okay, got it. So, um, what is your troop number again? 5192. 5192, got it. Let me just log into that really quick. And then, Pamela, are you the troop coordinator? Uh, yes. Well, my name is Martha. This is just my daughter's, my daughter's ah. Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm Martha Garcia, and yes, I'm the troop coordinator. I did have an issue with my my coordinator site and my daughter, so it's kind of like synced together. It's like if I have two coordinator digital cookies. Yeah, every um, so you are supposed to have two digital cookie sites. One is the troop site. And one is uh, your site as the troop coordinator. So if you're a coordinator, you're logging into your digital cookie site. You should be able to see if you have a Girl Scout, you should be able to actually see three sites you can toggle to. It should be 
your girl's personal site. Okay. It should be the troop site. And then you should have another troop site, which is you as the coordinator site. So I'm so sorry. My um, computer is oh. giving me issues of trying to log in. So it's just one second before I'm able to. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was confused because my two of them has shares the same QR code, same link. Yeah, that, that's your troop site. So the troop site, that's where your, your um, girl should be taking any booth credit card payments into the troop site. So the individual girl site is the one that everybody is getting kind of confused and taking booth payments, which they should not. And we understand they shouldn't have the option, but they do. <laughs> oh. And so um, okay. they shouldn't be using the booth, though, through their own personal site. Okay. Yeah, because they only see they they say they don't see my like my troop. They say they only see my daughter's name. So I need to do the one for my daughter then. Let oh. me. I'm so sorry, guys. My computer just happens to give me a lot of issues right when I'm trying to share. Sarah, can you share your screen? Go I can. It. Let's see. <laughs> How about I? Because I I'm logged in right now into the troop site for um Martha. So let's see here. Share and then you just walk me um, okay. through it. Okay. I got it. Okay. I'm so sorry. Did you get it? it? Okay. Yes. All right. Back on. And let me share my site with you. All right. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes. Awesome. All right. So, Martha, this is your actual site. And what it is, is you haven't set up your girl's site. So, as you see, your girl is not showing. Oh. You can't see your girl's. Okay. Um, yeah, because I have those two and I thought that's because. Oh, okay. Yeah, you haven't registered your girl yet. So, that's why you can't see her. So, this if is what you, you would see as, as yeah. her. Um, this is the site lead. So you have, let's just check. You can check if to make sure that you've actually set up your site. How you'll do that is you'll go to the site lead site. This is what your troop um, site looks like where you're taking all your boothing um, payments. Oh. You're going to want to go to site setup. Okay. And once you go to site setup, it shows that your site has been set up. So you have done that part. It shows you published if okay. your site wasn't set up. So any troop who has not set up their site set yet, right here, when they go to site setup, it will tell you closed and it mm -hmm. will show you everything and walk you through how to set your site up. Um, right now, this is perfect because it shows she does have it. So all the girls in your troop should be able to see when they toggle, they will see the site lead in their personal site. When they're going in, they're going to want to take boot payments through the site lead. But okay. all boot payments can only be done in the app. They have to make sure okay. um, that you are logged into the app to take a boot payment. If you are viewing like we're doing right now on the system, there is no place for you to take the boot payments okay. as of right now. Okay. So you, she couldn't take it from the actual website. So that's the confusing part. It's you're using two different things. You're using the actual site and you're using your app. Okay. And this trip 5192, this is your personal site. This is where oh. you're going to oh, yeah. do all of your um, reports. This is where you're going to do everything as a troop coordinator in Digital Cookie that you need to do. But yeah. just to let everybody know, if you are logged in, if you are not seeing the site lead of Troop 519 or whatever troop you are, it should say your troop number. If you okay. are not seeing that site lead in your actual drop down, that means you have not set up your troop site. Oh, um, okay. So if you have not set up your troop site, your girls are not going to be able to see it. And so that's why they've been taking the credit card payments under their yeah. individual site. Okay. Um, so. Sense. That is one thing you want to check. Make sure you're logging in. You can see it now. Let's. I can't show you guys the app part, but if you are logging into the app, 
you shouldn't be able to see, you cannot see your troop site from the app. You should only see your girl site and your actual site lead. Um, if you don't see those two sites, it's because you haven't registered on an actual browser. So you need to register your troop first and then register your Girl Scout. Once you publish, it should say right here, it should say open, as you see, and it should say published. If it's not saying open, if it's showing your troop as closed, that means you haven't published it. So it's not gonna show up on the digital cookie app for the girls to take their booth payments. I think that's been a little bit of confusion. So we just wanted to kind of go through that. 